Hey everyone, welcome to my escape. Today we are going to do a life update because on my account the last two weeks have been a little spotty, so I'm going to explain that. And then also, clearly, I have a new backdrop, so things in life has changed, um, but I'm still going to be doing my account, I'm still very excited about it, all that. <music> So to get into it, the basis is I am slash was a university student. So I go to university um, in Eastern Canada and the semester was coming to an end. And then my professor said, we're not going to have any exams. We're going to have essays online, which in my mind meant I now had the three week exam period of three week of free time, which isn't really how that works. But in my mind it was. So I found this out about a month in advance and I decided I was going to go on a trip because I had three weeks between my last actual day of school I had to be in class and my first day of work. So I was like, let's do a trip. So then in the span of a month, I booked a trip, organized everything, and I had only been doing my book platform for about two months. So I still wanted to like keep up with that. So I pre-recorded videos, I pre-recorded reels for my Instagram, videos for my YouTube. I tried to get all my schoolwork done, I tried to get my essays done in advance, I packed and then also it was my last year of university so I was packing up my apartment and just generally like packing up life, getting rid of stuff I didn't need, all that sort of thing. So I left actually the last day of classes physically so there was really no wiggle room so I was very stressed and I was cramming a lot into a very very tight time frame but I've just been having so much fun with this book content, I didn't want to stop. So I pre-recorded all these videos and then I went on my trip and for the most part it was great. So I did five days in Jordan, nine days in Egypt and then I went to New York. I flew back, landed in New York and then my mom and I did a week in New York uh, together and then I just got home late yesterday. And of course because I just got back my <laughs> camera roll was full. And I don't have any space to film, film videos because I film them on my phone. So I thought before I started filming this that I had dealt with all that and created enough space, but I didn't then go in and empty my trash. So I just timed out and then I had to go do that. So if I had to adjust, so sorry. <laughs> we'll get into all that later too. So yeah, I did Egypt and Jordan, then New York. So definitely a whirlwind trip. Absolutely incredible. Had so much fun. Um, for the most part, I was able to keep up on Instagram because my reels were saved on like in drafts on Instagram. So for the most part, that was pretty good. However, my YouTube videos, I wasn't so lucky. So the one I was supposed to post two weeks ago um, got corrupted on upload. And I'm not really sure even how that happened. But again, I've been fighting with having enough space on my phone for my YouTube videos before upload. And then also like trip pictures and videos and all that sort of stuff. So I had deleted the original footage and then the it got like corrupted on upload or something like that. And then when I did notice and I went back, I tried to edit the, like the corrupted file and get it back. But because the original was gone, I couldn't. So then that whole video was just a wash. Unfortunate because that took a long time to edit. So I released a video like two or three days later and it was the video that was supposed to be released this past Friday. Um, so, you know, borrow from Peter to pay Paul sort of thing. So edited that one really quickly, got that one up there, and then my intent was to film something in this like <laughs> four day window I had left myself to get up for this past Friday, and obviously that didn't happen. It was the end of my trip, I was in New York City, I was catching up with old friends, I was hanging with my mom, I was just doing general New York stuff, and I wasn't able to film the video. So sorry. So <laughs> that one I just missed altogether. That was kind of the whirlwind trip. Um, university is over for me, possibly. I'm debating going back for my master's, so lots of like stuff is really up in the air. Again, packing up my apartment. Um, some of it came with me, but I flew then right from New York home and I live on Western Canada. Like I said, I go to school in Eastern Canada and I live in Western Canada. So I'm not gonna be able to get anything that I left at school or like left with my friends until I decide if I'm going back to fully close everything out or if I'm going back for my masters. So a lot of it's up in the air, so I don't have a lot of my stuff, such as my filming tripod, <sighs> which is why <laughs> this is a bit of a struggle. You're, pop you're propped up on my dresser right now against a uh, rolled up movie poster or rolled up book poster actually. And this is what we're just gonna do. So the tripod is actually very underrated and 
helps me just with all of my content so much but I wasn't able to get it into my suitcase and I didn't want to bring it like across the world and back and everything because it's like $15 so I'm gonna work on getting another one of those so that should be better and then you won't have to look at like half of my bed every video but this is the corner that I will be doing my book content out of so the plan is this is gonna go this bedside table is gonna go the lamp's gonna go that's the book I brought to Jordan and Egypt um, but that's all gonna go and then I'm gonna replace that with a bookshelf and pull all my books out from storage because they all get stored away and kind of pick which ones I want to put on my shelf and which ones I want to do that with. So the bookshelf I'm actually stealing from my parents because either I go and do my master's next year or I'm going to move somewhere. So I'm at my parents for the summer um, until I kind of like figure out what I'm doing. So I don't want to be buying a lot of new stuff because they're trying to downsize and I don't want to add to that. So I'm not going to buy myself a bookshelf. What I'm going to do is I'm going to steal one from my parents' room. <laughs> Cause they're gonna let me have it so that's great but i'm going to have to take all of their books off put them down um bring the shelf in here put all my books that i want to up there and then put all their books into the totes that currently store my books so it's gonna be like a whole process and i think i'm gonna do a whole video of it so you can watch me struggle in that but yes i want to do it primarily because i want a backdrop for all my book content because how do you how do you film book content without a backdrop you know i mean i guess you could but i like i like to look at my books so that's the number one reason. The number two reason, while I was in New York, we went to the New York Public Library, which is, okay, sign right for a second, beautiful, beautiful architecture. Um, I couldn't see a book. Tell me what public library, I can't walk in and see a book. So the New York Public Library is actually a terrible name. It's a research library. You need like special permission to go into the rooms with the books and you need like key access and key cards and everything because they're very specific books. It's a research library. If you could prove you're writing like a thesis or a doctorate or um, something, you could then, you know, apply to have access to these rooms, but that's not what a public library is. So the New York Public Library is not a public library, but it is a beautiful building and they do have an incredible gift shop. So I got this at the gift shop. So it's one of those things that you put on your bookshelf in between your books and it is, this one is like a little bookstore, but I just think it's so freaking cute. Or maybe it's like an apartment. I'm not sure. It probably tells me on it miniature house but it's all very like bookish I thought this one was so cute I've ha seen so many of these and like so many people that have had these and I'm like for the most part like yeah it's cute but also I have very limited space to begin with like I'm on the one bookshelf I, or bookcase I put behind me I'm not going to be able to fit all my books I'm still gonna have totes of books piled away but so I've never really understood why you would want one of these on your shelf because to me this takes the place of like four books that I could have out but then I saw this one and I thought it was absolutely the cutest little thing plus it's a project so it's like you build it yourself you like put it all together so it's gonna take me hours so this probably isn't gonna be up till like <laughs> July but how am I gonna make this and then not have a bookcase to put it on the math doesn't work out so stealing that bookcase so pretty much so that I can put this somewhere and I'm very excited to get into this also, just because we're talking about the New York Public Library and the gift shop specifically, I also found this there. So, Kane's Jawbone, I have seen it all over the book platforms a couple months ago. It was like huge, huge, huge to the point where nobody could get any of these because they got bought up so fast because the world was just like reintroduced. And then I saw this just on the table at the New York Public Library and I was like, oh my god. So what this is, is it's a like murder mystery puzzle. So it was written in 1934 and there's like six murders that happen in here, but all the pages are out of order. So if you like look at it, like they have page numbers at the top, but that's not the correct order. And then they have room for like notes and everything. So most people, they buy two copies, rip out the pages of the one, do all their notes, try to put it together. And the goal is to solve the murder mystery. I wasn't gonna get two copies because they only had four on the table. I know lots of people wanna do it. And I feel like I'm okay with one copy because I have zero faith that I'm gonna so solve this. So it says only three people have ever solved it. Um, and I'm not that smart and I'm not that murder mystery based anyways. I don't think I've ever read a murder mystery. So I really don't think I'm gonna solve this, but I think it's gonna be really, really, really fun to try and to get into and all that. So I'm pretty excited for this. 
Um, and then while I was there and like also at the same table after I picked this up, somebody else was looking at it and then I gave her like my whole rant spiel because I was so excited and she was like, you sold me. So, you know what? Two, two of their four copies was gone after I walked over there. But I'm so excited to get into this. But now that's two projects, two book projects that I now have over the summer as if I wasn't already very, very busy. But we're going to get into this. I will probably do the miniature house before I start on this, but maybe I'll do them kind of like together-ish we'll see but the new York public library was honestly great especially the gift shop <laughs> i spent a lot of money there and then i also got a cute little like book poster um and that's actually what my phone is propped up on so i'm not going to show you that because it would mess up my whole my whole thing and it's uh wrapped up in a cardboard roll so that i could travel with it anyways so you wouldn't even really be able to see it but it's gonna go probably there beside the bookshelf so you will be seeing that um it's just books in there in French and I thought it was cute so that was the New York Public Library <laughs> that was kind of an expensive trip for me but it was great and I had an absolute blast um I don't intend to miss videos I definitely like sticking to a schedule and all that sort of stuff so now I'm home I am going to be working a full-time job and all that fun stuff so I should have a pretty consistent schedule moving forward just in my life so I should have no more issues keeping up with my YouTube schedule so there should be a video this Friday. Um, I, there will there will be a video this Friday. I just have to figure out how I'm going to do it because I'm filming this. <laughs> so I'm hoping to have this video up as kind of like a life update, explanation of what happened Tuesday, and then um, my April wrap up should be up Friday. So I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get everything back on track, and then get back into the regular flow of things. But yeah, that's the life update. So sorry I missed a video this week. Hopefully this one will make everything kind of better. It's going to be very, very short. But that's all I got for you guys now. I'm going to go literally right now, I'll edit this one, post it so I can get it up hopefully very quickly, and then immediately start filming my create my little book nook and have that up. And then I will film the April wrap up at some point. Yeah, that's the life update. Crammed a lot into a very tiny time frame. Went on an absolutely incredible trip left zero time between when the trip ended and work begins <laughs> don't know what i'm doing next year um and i pretty much only have four days before i'm off on like a little weekend trip and a little weekend getaway so all of this crammed into this tiny thing tiny thing but jordan was great egypt was great new york was great new york public library was amazing if you want to see some like little bookish pictures and stuff from there you can check out my instagram I will do a New York highlight where I did all like I walked into all these little independent bookstores it was such a vibe they were so cute and in Jordan and Egypt I brought the city of brass and I took pictures of it like with it everywhere I went so there's pictures of it with like camels and old temples and everything like that so that'll all be on my Instagram go feel free to check that out um, and I will see you guys all on Friday <laughs>